Welcome back to another issue of Shutter Magazine. This month's article is all about expanding your business as a wedding photographer. And one of the things that I wanted to get across was that so many of you limit the products and services you offer your clients. Now, here's a good example. I'm standing on what's called a day dock. I live in a community of about 70 homes south of Sarasota, Florida, and we've got this day dock. Now, the problem is you can't, you can't bring a boat in and leave it overnight. It's great if you've got a kayak or a canoe or if you're kids and you want to fish off the, off the dock here. Other than that, it doesn't serve a lot of purpose. It's nice to have. It's pretty. The inland waterway winds around the community. That's great. But you can't do very much with it. Now, as wedding photographers, there are so many of you that are limiting the services you offer. You're turning yourself into a day dock. Instead of offering full service and doing all kinds of things for your clients, you're limiting what they have to choose from, and you're, in a lot of cases, you're giving them the same old stuff that your competitors are. Now, one person I didn't talk about very much in this month's article is Michelle Salentano. Now, Michelle is a children and family photographer out around the uh, Phoenix area. She refers to herself as a full service photographer. So when she sits down with a client, and they start to decide on a portrait sitting and obviously it's usually mom because remember women make 98 percent of the purchase decisions to hire a photographer in the portrait social category when she sits down with them she will actually go to their home she will talk about what kind of frame they want to put the print in when it's going to be ready and after the sitting she will show up at that client's home with a hammer and nails and a level and she'll hang that print and make sure it goes up on the wall that's full service. And I guess what I'm saying in this month's article is that you have an opportunity to be a full service wedding photographer. And don't just go with the usual of a wedding, an album, some prints. Think about some interesting ways to be more creative and give your client more. Remember, with every client, your goal is to not only exceed expectations, but to make yourself habit forming. And I've said that in previous videos. So that's it for this month. I want to thank you for reading my articles and following me on Twitter and Facebook. And also, I'm here with my Lumix FC1000. And once again, if I've done it right, I'm going to hit the button and stop recording. And we'll see you next month. And here we go.